I'm Zameless, and in association with ADSR, I am creating a series of workflow tips for FL Studio 12. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe to the channel because there'll definitely be more. Anyway, today's thing is going to be about Patcher. And the workflow tip is really just to use Patcher. And the reason for that is because Patcher allows you to do the regular things that you do with the mixer, but in a much more hands-on and abstract way. You might be thinking, well, abstract, how's that good? Well, let's talk about like what I mean by that. So here's the mixer, right? The mixer and mixers like this were created in DAWs because when DAWs were new, um, all anyone had experience with at all was the analog and I mean, the, the hardware world, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. And the hardware world, mixer consoles were how you did anything. So people were used to the, the track, the faders, and the connections, and the routing that a mixer presented to you. So when a DAW was created, to, for people to be able to use it, they had to, have, they had to make an interface that was very similar to using you know, a mixer. That's all well and good. That's all perfectly fine. But that you know, limits you to this particular method of doing things. And then here comes Patcher. So Patcher comes in two different modes. There's this mode, which is the generator mode, where you put it inside a channel and then it's a, you play it like it has many uh, by default and it's just there and that's how that works. There's also an effect version where you can load it in here and, and then just do effects-based stuff it's if you already have like a channel or something that you don't want to have to put into Patcher. Um, so the Patcher, the generator mode, allows you to just have generators, put them in there, which you also can do in the effects uh, version, but it's a bit more complicated. I really don't want to get that, that deep today with this. But... You have it in here and you can build your own sort of chain of effects, right? We haven't even touched the mixer. We haven't used any mixer inserts whatsoever. And here we are and here's this. There's no list of effects. There's just this vision of what we're using for um, the effects routing. Now here's the cool part. If I wanted to do something special like route a reverb, have it be a separate channel and then affect the reverb only as a separate thing. So here's like turn the dry off, turn it on. So now this is affecting the reverb and then maybe I want to EQ it again to bring it together. And then I bring it all together with compression, right? So put compression here, route that in there. And now we have a pretty reasonable kind of thing to do, right? And maybe I want to go take it a step farther and distort the dry signal, right? So this is actually a separate thing now. The clean is going into reverb, it's being processed, and it's being controlled, and then it comes together with the compression against the distortion that's coming out of the, the original uh, EQ signal. This is a pretty regular kind of thing to do with some kind of sound design, lots of, you know, branching effects and layers of, of processing and that kind of thing. This would have taken four mixer inserts to do. You would have had the mixer insert that has the, uh, the bass uh, EQ in there. They both link to two different inserts that has one that has the reverb channel, the other one that has the distortion channel, and then the two of them get linked back together into a, a fourth mixer insert that, uh, well, a third to kind of the first one being one, and that um, comes together to form the entire chain. That's four mixer inserts. And here we are not even using any mixer inserts. And, and we don't have any limitations of how many effects we can have per chain. We can have as many as we want. There's no limitation whatsoever. You can even put a patcher inside patcher. Let that sink in for a second. So this is what I mean by abstractifying, abstract, abstractifying uh, the view of things. Is that like now we can look at this as being directly what the connections are, what thing is to what other thing, which is all stuff that's happening already in the mixer it's just that in the mixer it's presented with the mixer and the mixer aesthetic to kind of come across as like you know the regular mixing stuff that you would expect in hardware world right which has been the same way since the dawn of DAWs except for a couple of DAWs that definitely did try to you know be a bit more abstract and didn't really work out very well but this I feel like is a nice a nice happy medium for things and it's, it makes that particularly great. There is a thousand different things you can do with Patrick that are like way more deep and way more interesting that make it actually different from the mixer. But just for the pure fact that all the stuff that you could do with the mixer, you can do with Patcher. It's a lot easier to see what's happening. And you can save this whole thing as a preset. So I can load up Patcher to have this whole thing here and just open it up and dump it into a song in a channel. And then there it is. And that's infinitely, infinitely more organized and better than the old way of doing things. So I just wanted you to be, make you aware that this was a thing if you didn't know that because it's extremely cool. Anyway, like I said, I'm Seamless. This is for ADSR. Please subscribe and all that good stuff to the channel and there'll definitely be more content from me and all that good stuff. And as usual, have a nice day.